The Cisco Certified Netbook Associate is one of the most sought after netbooking certifications by budding engineers that are looking to get into the netbooking domain. Anyone who wants to further go down the tracks of cybersecurity, someone who wants to transition from the help desk role to network engineering, for example, this is that one certification that literally everyone talks about. But is it really worth the hype? The CCNA is provided by a vendor called as Cisco, which is one of the big guns when it comes to networking in the industry. Cisco has been around for years, in fact, decades. And what it's done in the field is quite remarkable. Uh, you talk about Cisco routing solutions, switching solutions, even security solutions at a certain stage. Cisco was probably the best at doing what they did. And during this time, they came up with their certification tracks, out of which the associate level certification is what the CCNA is, the Cisco Certified Network Associate. Over the years, the CCNA has come a long way in terms of, you know, there's been syllabus changes. There are so many versions of the exam that, you know, keeps changing every three to four years. So as an exam itself, the CCNA has evolved quite a lot. Personally speaking, I also did the CCNA when I was looking to get my first ever break in the networking domain. Was it worth it? The straight and simple answer is yes. The CCNA is a certification that I would recommend to every engineer who wants to get into networking. Now I got the CCNA in 2018, which is almost six years ago, and there have been a lot of changes in the version to date. However, I have tutored a lot of students to help them get the certification and I can say that the statement stands true even today. You should aim to get the CCNA. And there are many reasons why I would vouch to do that. And the first reason is, is that the CCNA is widely regarded in the industry as a certification which tells recruiters that, okay, this engineer or this student who's trying to get a job probably knows their stuff. Now you do have a lot of bogus stuff that also goes around in the market where, you know, people come up with fake CCNA certificates. But when someone wants to finalize a candidate for a junior networking role, the CCNA is going to be a requirement or criteria. The second thing is, is that the way the CCNA syllabus is structured, what it does is it gives you good hands on experience with the Cisco IOS routers, switches, along with the fundamental networking concepts of routing and switching. And this is where if you compare the CCNA to a more industry vendor neutral certification like the CompTIA Network Plus, the CCNA is heavily dependent on labs. And I think in the newer version as well, you have the simulations that are come back into the exam. So you will have questions where you've got to solve things on a CLI on the exam. And that goes a really long way in helping you grasp and understand how to work with real life networking devices. Another big advantage for the CCNA is that the syllabus is pretty vast and covers a lot of domains within the networking spectrum. And this includes routing, switching, wireless technologies, and the newer versions also have a lot of automation that's included in them. So it's constantly evolving and keeping up with the times. Therefore, if someone is trying to get the CCNA, it gives you a good base when you want to be a network engineer. Comparing the CCNA to its counterparts, for example, the Juniper Certified Network Associate, the CCNA is widely regarded in the industry. You have a lot of online support available because it's been there for years. So you have a lot of forums, a lot of online articles. Literally, you search anything related to Cisco devices or the CCNA, you will find support online. Whereas comparing it with other vendors like Aruba or Juniper, you still will find help but it is far limited as compared to what you can get for the Cisco or CCNA exam tracks. And look, there has been a lot of debate whether the CCNA should be considered as a good networking certification because it's heavily vendor focused. It's focused on the Cisco IOS and a lot of Cisco proprietary technologies and comparing it with the CompTIA Network Plus, as I said earlier as well, even though it's vendor neutral, you don't get that hands-on experience working with uh, the CompTIA Network Plus that you would with the CCNA. Given the fact that you also have Cisco Packet Tracer, which is a part of your CCNA exam prep. So you can use Packet Tracer to build labs and uh, that is going to give you some valuable hands-on experience. And speaking about the Cisco Packet Tracer, 
if you compare it with let's say other vendors like aruba juniper if you want to practice hands on stuff with those technologies probably you've got to use something like evng and then it's not very easy to set up and then you've got to sort the ios images etc whereas with the ccna and the cisco packet tracer it's pretty readily available so you can set yourself a good foundation right from the get go for those that are confused whether they should get the comtia network plus or the ccna i've made a separate video on that so you can check that video out but my personal favorite will always be the ccna reason being tried and tested with myself that was my first ever certification that i got and it helped me get my first ever network engineering role it taught me a lot and and what it did was it set a good path for me so that i could then navigate well within the networking domain so if you want to also see yourself go far in this space start off with the ccna it's a huge bonus now if you're watching this video and you are convinced that you should be getting the ccna look i'm in no way trying to sway you if you've decided okay there's something that works for you and you want to go down that path please do i will always say that the ccna is a good starting point and if you are convinced that this is a great certification that you should start with there are plenty of resources available to help you get that certification and some of them include cbt nuggets which is pretty famous when it comes to a video library for the ccna uh, it's paid however but if you want a free version you then have uh, jeremy it on youtube who has a free playlist uh, you have the original certification guide by cisco which is amazing and if you want to pass the exam that book is something you need to rinse and repeat at least two to three times and finally getting in some good practice tests example the bose and exim and yes also please don't forget to practice a lot of hands on labs because that is what is going to decide whether a you're going to pass the ccna or no and secondly if you're going to be a good network engineer or no getting the ccna will help you get your first role either as a network engineer a junior network engineer network administrator network support engineer etc and all of these professions especially in a junior level capacity can command you a salary of around 60 to 80000 us dollars or let's say 70 to 85000 australian dollars speaking about these two specific markets i mean what you can do is uh, just go to linkedin and look for any networking roles most of them not the advanced or the more senior level ones but the more junior or associate level networking roles will definitely ask for the ccna and as i spoke about this at the beginning of the video as well you know if you're looking to ultimately let's say transition into cyber security which does involve network security which is then dependent on network engineering if you have the ccna and you clear that exam well you've studied well that gives you a good hold over networking related concepts so that's a huge plus point if you then want to get into cyber security so there you go guys this was my take on the ccna a great certification if you're looking to get started as a network engineer it's going to put you in a very strong position to get your first ever networking role if you found this video helpful do hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video